Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Donner product, and it's a electric base, you can see it up there in the corner. And Donner are a really cool company that make a lot of products these days. They make everything from guitar pedals, to electronic drum sets, to electric basses, to I think even audio interfaces now. Uh, they are really, really growing fast, and they've sent me a lot of stuff to check out over the past year. And I gotta say, I'm usually impressed with Donner products for the price. That being said, I will say that this base was sent to me for free, but I still will give you my honest opinion of it uh, based on what I see here. So anyway, I just got the base in the mail today, so let's go ahead and open it up and uh, just check it out. Before we get started though, be sure to check me out on Spotify and Apple Music if you use any of those. You can check me out under the names Demonic Sweaters as well as my other project, which is called Manasota. There's links down below. You can click on those and your support there is greatly appreciated. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out this bass guitar. All right, so here's how the bass arrived. I haven't opened it yet, still in the box. And uh, it got here really quickly in about two days. The one thing I wish, even though it is a cool box, uh, but I kind of wish they didn't print uh, what it was on the outside of the box. Uh, it says right there, electric bass. Uh, because uh, if you don't live in the best area, <laughs> some people might uh, see that and want to take it. Uh, which, uh, if you might remember, if you saw my video about the Donner e-drum set, uh, I literally caught somebody trying to walk out of the building with it. Uh, but anyway, just a little bit of advice there. Maybe they should do a little uh, more discreet packaging. If you're in a more uh, secure area, it probably doesn't matter to you. But since I live in New York City, uh, yeah, it kind of matters. Uh, but luckily I was waiting for it and I got it quickly and just went down there and got it when I was here. So let me open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so I opened the box and there it is just in the gig bag. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm doing this one-handed, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it's wrapped up inside of the gig bag. But that's pretty nice. Actually, that feels like a really decent gig bag. It's uh, decently thick. As you can see there, it's not like super flimsy like some of the super cheap ones. Uh, so, I'm going to have to put the camera down and let's see what's in here before I do this, before I do that, rather. Uh, cable, uh, nice looking cable there, pretty thick, 10 feet too. And there's the uh, truss rod adjustment Allen wrench and there's, oh I almost lost that, uh, the bridge adjustment Allen wrench. So make sure you keep those, let's just stick that down in here, put that back inside. Alright, let me open this whole thing up. Okay, so the strings are wrapped up in this tissue paper here. And, uh, nice looking fretboard. And one thing I noticed right away when I pulled it out of the case is it's pretty heavy. Uh, it feels about like, well, I don't know exactly as heavy as a real Fender or a Squire, um, but it's pretty darn close. I used to have like a pink uh, precision copy by a company called Crescent. And uh, it was a decent base, but it, you might have seen it in some of my videos. I've since sold it, but uh, it was really, really light. Like it just felt like cheap when you picked it up. This does not feel cheap. This feels solid and heavy. And it's got a cool looking Donner uh, backplate on there. And let me just get a good look at this finish. There's me. And uh, it looks good. I mean, it's black. I just went for the, the simple black one. And it's got the protective plastic on the pitch guard, so you'll want to peel that off. Sometimes you'll have a little trouble getting them around the knobs. You might have to pop the knobs off of there to do that. And uh, the headstock there. Got the nice, big, flat, open tuners, like uh, or open back tuners, like a real precision. And uh, one thing I noticed here that is very cool the tag is also a string action ruler. So if you're setting up your own bass or guitar, uh, that's an actually uh, very handy thing to have. And uh, there's a little chord chart there as well, even though that's not really relevant on a bass, but <laughs> not so much. But it'll still give you some ideas. Um, cool. So I'm uh, going to have to peel this plastic off and uh, hook it up. Oh, so I peeled the protective plastic off the pick guard, and actually it didn't even go all the way down to this area, which actually I like that. That's really nice because sometimes that's a really big pain in the butt 
to peel off plastic, even though it does look like there's something down there, but maybe it's a separate piece. Um, I think. Is there something there? Can't tell. Anyway, I don't think it matters too much. It's fine like that. I could always check that out later. Uh, but you don't have to, what, what I was saying is you don't have to worry about pulling off the knobs or anything because it just, it basically just stopped peeling right there and just tore right off. So super easy. All right, so here's the base. Um, and I have it, you know, basically just pulled it out of the box, now the case. And it is really, really nice looking. Uh, feels very solid. Now, I haven't even plugged it in yet. I haven't tuned it. I haven't set it up or anything like that. If you're not familiar, uh, like if you're new to bass playing, most uh, stringed instruments do need to be set up before you start playing them. What I mean by that is like fine tuning the action and the intonation and all of that stuff. However, I'm just going to skip past that and tune it and uh, play it basically how it is out of the box and see how it goes. I'm not going to use that as a, uh, you know, basically a judgment on how good I think the bass is because whether I were buying a, a Donner or a Fender, I would still set up the bass uh, at some point before really starting to use it a lot. You know, uh, it's just a general rule of thumb of what you should do. If you don't know how to, if you don't know how to set up an instrument yourself, take it to somebody who does. So that is really an important thing to do. It looks really nice and uh, it feels very well made. So let me go ahead and tune this thing up. We'll plug it in and I'm just gonna put it right to work. I'm, I've actually been recording a song that I need to put bass to. So I'm gonna use this bass to do it. We'll see how it goes. So here we go. All right, so I got some bass recorded here and I think it sounds pretty good. So let's just check this out. I don't wanna play you guys too much because this is something new I'm working on and I'm not really ready to uh, fully present it yet because it's still in the infant stages, but here's a little bit. I do have chorus on the bass. Um, I pretty much like chorus on everything. But it sounds very clean, very clear, uh, full, nice, full bodied pickups. Uh, stayed in tune really well. I probably will buy some flat wound strings for it just because. I don't like round wound strings. Uh, they tear up my fingers like crazy on a bass. And plus I just prefer a more kind of dead uh, sound. So I like the flat wounds. I'll probably order some of those. Um, another thing that I do a lot on bass, you might've noticed is I, I palm mute a lot on the bass when I play, but I didn't do it always on this one. But there's a lot of palm muting right there. Works really good. I mean, it's $130 and uh, I think it's really nice. I mean, I, I really couldn't imagine getting a better bass for $130. But let me uh, get off of here and I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff that came with it and give you my final thoughts. All right, I just wanted to show you guys what I was running through here. And uh, that was the Flama FX100. I did a review on this a few months back. I can post a link down below. And uh, that's actually a guitar, uh, uh, interface, but I use it for bass too. It works just fine. And uh, so yeah, I was just running direct through there into my audio interface on my computer. So you can see right there and then just plugged into Reaper and I did have the SSL uh, channel strip plug-in on there with the bass preset uh, and that's that's all. I mean, I really didn't do much other than that. Alright, let's talk about the gig bag uh, that it comes with. And uh, this thing is pretty nice. It's definitely a step above the really cheap 
gig bags you can buy on Amazon, you know, like the bottom of the barrel ones. Uh, it's not the greatest gig bag I've ever seen, but it's really not bad either. It's definitely uh, got some padding on there and will protect the base good enough uh, for you to carry it around to shows and practices and stuff like that. And plus it has backpack straps, which is very handy, especially in New York City. Uh, you can carry this down on the subway uh, fairly easily. Just make sure you duck down when you go through the door so you'll hit your headstock on the door top there. I've done that before. Um, and then it also comes with uh, a strap right here, which is like, uh, I like this kind of strap. It's like a fabric uh, type strap, which uh, feels pretty comfortable to use. And it has a metal adjustment bracket. I don't know if that's what you call those things there. And uh, pretty standard, just black strap. But it also has uh, this string on here in case you have an acoustic guitar. I guess they uh, include that as well. And then, like I showed you guys in the unboxing, the cable, which I haven't opened yet, so I might as well open that. This cable actually looks really nice. Uh, it's definitely a thick, uh, well-made cable. I can tell just by looking at it and feeling it. Uh, it's got a right angle plug on one end and then a uh, regular plug on the other end. So that's pretty cool. And it's 10 feet, which is pretty long. Uh, so good uh, for live usage there. And lastly, but not least, we have the truss rod adjustment Allen wrench and the bridge adjustment Allen wrench, which I'll probably use. I didn't do anything to it other than tune it uh, for this video, but I will probably lower the action just because I prefer it to be a little bit lower. And I'll just check the neck and make sure it doesn't need an adjustment or anything like that. But that's outside of the scope of this video. But even out of the box, it's totally playable and it sounds good. Um, but, you know, I always just like to set up my instruments uh, more to my specifications after I get them. But, you know, for 130 bucks, this thing kicks ass. That's all I have to say. I mean, it's really a great deal. If you want a really decent bass uh, for under $200, uh, you really, I don't think you'll be able to find anything much better than this. I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe you can. There's a lot of good stuff out there these days. That's the thing. Like, there's tons of companies uh, making really great inexpensive gear. Like, I remember when I was a kid, like, if you bought a $100 guitar, it played like a $100 guitar. Like, it was a piece of crap. But these days, it's like a $100 guitar sometimes can rival, like, a $600 guitar or a $700 guitar. Like, it's crazy how good they make them these days. But uh, I'm totally happy with it. Um, it's the Donner Standard Series uh, bass guitar. And, yeah, it is pretty darn heavy. I haven't weighed it. I should do that. Uh, let's do that, actually. Let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, let's go ahead and see exactly how much this thing weighs, because I don't know, but it's pretty heavy. So, yeah, about 9 pounds, 13 ounces, somewhere around there. 14 ounces. So, almost 10 pounds. Uh, that's pretty, you know, it's not, like, really heavy, but that's, you know, a solid chunk of wood right there. So, pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, nine pounds, almost 10 pounds. And uh, there's the tuners there. I didn't show you a close up of those, uh, but they're really, you know, pretty good for, again, for the price, it's, it exceeds my expectations. Um, it's definitely a good base. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Oh, another thing I forgot to show you was the cool Donner backplate there. That is something that I haven't seen. Well, actually this is the first Donner uh, guitar or bass that I've ever had. I've had the pedals and the drums, but this is the first uh, stringed instrument. So, pretty cool stuff. Nice job, Donner. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and the like button. If you have any questions about the bass, uh, post it down below. There's a link to buy one of these in the description down below as well. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out my music on uh, Apple Music and Spotify. There's also a Bandcamp link if you're a Bandcamper. Anyway, I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Later.